Anytime we can talk about advancements in cancer research, it's a good day. Younger women living with metastatic breast cancer have a new treatment option, and here to tell us about it is breast cancer expert Dr. Joyce O'Shaughnessy and breast cancer patient Helga Torres. Thank you both for joining me. Thank Happy you. Happy to do it. So, doctor, starting with you, let's talk about what makes premenopausal metastatic breast cancer different than postmenopausal. Well, the, the young age of the premenopausal woman who's under 50 and oftentimes under 40 um, means that she has a lot of estrogen production from her ovaries. You know, she's menstruating. And unfortunately, that makes for more aggressive breast cancer in general, not across the board, but in general, the cancers grow faster and they tend to metastasize more quickly and sooner, meaning spread to vital organs of the body like the brain, liver, lungs, and bones. And unfortunately, when breast cancer metastasizes, we do not have cures. We have treatments that can keep women alive for years oftentimes, but we don't have any cures. So discuss some of those different uh, treatment options. The most recent information and FDA approval is for premenopausal women who have estrogen-fed breast cancer. So this involves turning off their estrogen production from their ovaries and a new pill called Kiss Kelly, which stops the cell division of the breast cancer in those breast cancers that are fed by estrogen. So the ovaries are shut off with an injection once a month. Kiss Kelly pill is taken along with a second pill called Famara that's packaged with the Kiss Kelly for ease of access. And that's an excellent triplet combination that really stops the cell division very quickly for women and puts most women, not all, but most women in remission and holds that breast cancer in check for a longer period of time. It does have some side effects of tiredness, fatigue, some modest lowering of the immune system, but generally women feel very well on it and um, really enjoy an excellent quality of life, usually for, for years with, the, uh, with this Kiss Cali. Well, that's definitely good news. And Helga, you live with breast cancer. What does it mean to you to have this new treatment uh, for younger women? Um, it, it's always exciting to hear about these new treatments coming out. And uh, for us, it means uh, to have another option to try when one treatment stops working to have more options and uh, when exactly one, what, what we were talking about, a uh, quality of life when you have less side effects, when the treatments are less harsh and uh, you're able to continue living your life, working, raising families, doing the things that you enjoy, it's, it's exciting. And obviously it's such a complex and, and difficult topic to talk about, especially with your family. So uh, discuss what it's like for you to, to help your children understand and, and talk to your family about what you're going through and what you have. Well, as with any cancer diagnosis, it's, it's something that is shocking. And when you bring metastatic into the picture, it is devastating. So my key advice to people, it's always to learn as much as possible about their cancer and their treatments. That way they can help themselves, they can help themselves and also their loved ones. They can help you manage all these side effects that come from these treatments. And uh, so, so that's the key, education, to learn as much as possible so, so you yourself and then your loved ones can help you. Well, it's, it's said again and again that you have to be your own best advocate, right? I mean, you have to become exactly. very well educated about it, know it inside and out. Thank you so much for sharing your story and also for your incredible strength. And, and doctor, thank you for this important information. My pleasure. Thank you. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.